What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Lean and Mean Academy, where we talk about one truck, big profits, baby. Okay, and in today's video, we're talking about chemical injectors, downstream injectors, as they are better known to us, pressure washers, what they do, why you may need one, what not to do, which one to get, all the gamut. All right, so stay tuned. Let's get ready. AOM, man, go and hit him with that beam footage, man. That's a deal. To get started in the pressure washing business. What's up, guys? Dan here with the Lean and Mean Academy. Welcome back. Three, two, one. And that we're trained inside of our minds of consciously. Look at that. Number one. One. <laughs> hey. Hey. What are you doing, man? All right, guys, so welcome back to the channel. Hey, look, if you're brand new here and you're wanting to start your business, pressure washing, or really any contractor business, right, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Go ahead and hit the like button for me. It helps out the video, helps out the channel a little bit that we could these, get these videos out to more people. All right, so downstream injectors, chemical injectors. You're going to have to have one more than likely if you're going to be pressure washing for a good period of time oh yes wait hey listen if you're wanting to start your pressure washing business here in 2021 the local domination course has gotten more guys started and successful in this industry than any curriculum ever okay don't believe me go hit them with them testes <laughs> All right, all right. So, hey, listen, if you're really wanting to make this a business, go ahead and get started in the local domination course. You're not going to be disappointed unless you're one of those type of people who don't like to go to work. Then you're going to be very disappointed. All right. So, right here is my chemical injector that I currently have on my truck. And as you can see, this little black piece right here is what is an adjuster for flow. Now, I have to be honest, normally I do not like adjustable injectors, mainly because there's a lot of corrosive chemical running through this all the time. And sometimes chemical is sitting inside of this area a lot. And I just don't like more moving pieces than need be, all right? Usually I like a static uh, chemical injector right here where the nipple is just by itself. It doesn't have this adjuster and it just sucks. Now, it literally sucks. Chemical through it and that's how we spray chemical at a ratio on the house or substrate that you're looking to spray it on. Why are these important? Well, these are pretty unique in that they spray a ratio that is pretty good for cleaning vinyl houses, hardy plank, um, stuff that doesn't really require a lot of hot mixes like a soft wash unit or something that you're going to want to blend sodium hypochlorite and water at, at really high ratios. This won't do it. This is like a little everyday vinyl house. Uh, maybe you want to pre-treat a little nice concrete driveway to clean it at a low ratio. This guy's going to give you a 20, 10 to 1, depending on your water, depending on your flow, and depending on your gallons per minute in your pressure washer. Now, the unique thing about this, as you can see, is this is removable, all right? This is a coupling on one end. This is the coupling on uh, the other end, the barb. And the interesting piece of the interesting thing about it being removable is that some new guys getting started have ones that are built in to the unit. I do not suggest those because they're very difficult to uh, you know remove and once it goes bad and it will go bad, it's gonna cause you a lot of problems because you're not gonna be able to suck chemical and you're not gonna be able to downstream chemical on to the house. Now, before we keep going, let's figure out what does downstreaming even mean? Let's jump into the computer. 
All right, guys. So we are here uh, in my office, and I wanted to bring you into the office here just to kind of explain to you a little more because I know when I first got started in pressure washing, the confusion of what a downstream injector was uh, baffled me. All right. Why is it called a downstream injector? Great question. Well, today we are officially going to explain this in detail. Now, I have a little fun drawing here on the screen, okay? And this is my engine, as you can see, big box around here. And this is the pump. Usually the pump is going to mount to the engine. Hey, hey, novel idea. And the pump is going to suck water either from a hose line that you hook up to the house or it's going to suck water from a tank. The bigger you get in gallons per minute that this pump is gonna produce, um, the more you're gonna need a tank to suck water from. Usually any homeowner grade pressure washers are gonna allow you to use a spigot from the house and just directly connect to it. So let's get into how these downstream injectors connect and, and really why they're called that. So to me, I was baffled by it when I first got started. But let's say we got a hose connected here to this pump and water is flowing from the house or your tank into the pump. What is coming out of the pump into your high pressure hose, right? When it's strung out all over the yard is obviously a, a lot higher pressure. And this is considered downstream from the pump. So you would connect your downstream injector right here, right? With the little barb I showed you earlier. And that hose on the barb would go into your bleach or your sodium hypochlorite or your degreaser or whatever you're spraying. Now, let's explain. This would be, right here, this would be upstream from the pump, okay? Because it's upstream and the pump is here and this would be downstream, all right? So, let's go on and there you go. So that should be able to kind of clear up what is a downstream injector. It just means that the chemical is not going to be sucked from your line and go through the pump. You would never want to do that. And most homeowner grade, like any Ryobis or something, they're going to have it mounted on there. So it's just impossible to do that. But some prosumer grade equipment, pressure washers, you know, would possibly if you really tried you could probably figure out a way to run the chems through the pump it takes some mounting and some you know uh weird apparatus to try and do it it wouldn't work properly uh but that would be upstream and you would run chem into this pump and that would be terrible it would destroy the pump and then it would just you know you would be out of business all right so you always want to make sure that you're chemical injector is downstream from the pump. It usually mounts right about here. And that's why it's called a downstream injector. Let's go back to the basement. All right, what's up guys? So we are out here with Mad Max. You know, you guys know Mad Max, come on. Look at this, y'all wanna take a little tour? Right, we'll, we'll jump into the video real quick. All right, let's take a little tour. you like that tour i know she's sexy now i know mad max is not for sale all right i've had a bunch of people want to buy her i just can't get rid of her 
she'll tow. She tow go. All right. So here's the deal. This is where my downstream injector is hooked up. Okay. So let me bring you here with me. Let me disconnect and let me show you how this thing hooks up. I'm gonna walk you through it, baby. All right. I ain't gonna leave you hanging here. So if you can see this piece right here this is called an unloader the unloader comes from the pump right so it's pushing water out of the pump now the unloader is downstream from the pump this is what shuts off the high pressure when you let go of the handle it's going to shut it off and make that belt disengage in that guard right there you can't see it this high pressure hose goes through and up into my burner, which many of you don't need or have. It's gonna go through the burner and come out right there. It's gonna come down that hose, right? Out to here. And this is where you're gonna connect your downstream injector. Now you say, well, Aaron, old daggum, man. So you got your downstream injector. Let me put you guys back right here. What do you do with it? Good question. So here's my little hose. Bing, bing. All right. You put that hose right here on that barb. And this little baby hose runs all the way up to that right there into my 100 gallon bleach tank. All right. So it's going to suck that bleach out of there, bleach or soap, whatever I got in there, when the water passes through it, okay, and it's gonna push it out, my high pressure hose. Obviously this will be unreal, unreeled and all out in the yard. So that is how Mad Max is rigged up with a downstream injector. And I hope in this video, you possibly got a you know better view of what a downstream chemical injector is and what it does all right so let's jump back into the office i want to show you another diagram all right guys welcome back to my office okay and on the screen here you're gonna notice something looks like a little mathy math going on all right so don't even ask me about how to do math all right because i barely barely passed math and so it does look very scientific but i want you to kind of Look away from all of these little numbers and this little little letters and stuff like that. All of that is science. Us pressure washers, we're backyard chemists, by God. We don't use this nonsensical V2, P2. What you really need to focus on is this arrow right here and how it's saying flow is going this way. And you also need to focus on paying attention to this constriction in flow. All right, this is what is called the Venturi. All right, we can, if you got to say it with that voice, the Venturi, Venturi effect. And basically what that is, is when you force liquid through a restricted area at a pressure, it will start to suck here. As you see, the volume is lower here than it is here. This is the only little scientific piece of this that I understand, but also take a look right here. Does it not look exactly like that diagram? Very cool. So this works in the Venturi effect. When you hook this up and like the diagram, water flows through here, it sucks Kim. As you can see the volume on your screen in this area, this tube right here is lower than this. That means, well, according to Aaron, that means that it will suck Kim out of the middle right there in that restricted area, okay? So that is how this works. It's just a scientific principle. And uh, we use these all the time. If you're gonna be in pressure washing, you're probably gonna be using some downstream injectors on your rig. And I just wanted to explain to you what the Venturi effect is and why does a downstream chemical injector work? Well guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video about downstream injection. You didn't know you were gonna get so much science in a 
pressure washing video. But I know some of you guys are starting your businesses. A lot of you guys are doing really, really good this year. And inevitably, if you're pressure washing, you're going to come upon one of these. And you're probably gonna go through a ton of them as well because things like this go bad on the truck. As you can see, this one's already ate up by Kim's and eventually it's gonna go bad. I don't recommend trying to repair a downstream injector because they're just cheaper to buy. And if you try to buy the repair kits, sometimes it's just not foolproof. Sometimes you'll waste your money, waste your time, and eventually you'll just need to buy a new one anyway. Now, I've had a lot of guys ask me, Aaron, what is your favorite downstream injector? Well, my favorite one ain't this one, okay? I don't like adjustable. I like the standard, but I also love the acid injectors. These are downstream injectors with a ceramic ball setup, and they're a little more robust on the internals, possibly a stainless spring, and they have lasted me up to six months before. I know, that is crazy. And on that note, comment below how long your longest downstream injector, uh, the longevity of your downstream injector, how long has it gone? Is it one month, two months, six months? Comment that in the comments below. I love to see you guys killing it. Smash that like button, smash the subscribe button. And like my boy Justin over at Forever Self-Employed, we gotta do a word of the day. All right, word of the day today is lava. Hashtag me a lava in the comments and I will hashtag you a lean. And like I said, stay lean, stay mean. I'll see you guys on the next video.